What is up, everybody, and welcome to another box opening of Throne of Eldraine, this time a little bit different. We've actually got the Collector's Booster box here, and I'm really, really excited about this one. Uh, this, as well as the original box opening, are both sponsored by Grand Slam. Uh, their Facebook group is linked in the description below. Definitely suggest checking them out. They are very, very kind and very, very helpful to us, uh, and I know they, they. it seems like they had a very good turnout for pre-release, so uh, really, really stoked for those guys. Please, seriously, go check them out, and if you're in the area... Uh, South Carolina, North Carolina area, please check them out. Uh, they are in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and genuinely, genuinely just a really nice place to, to visit and stop in, maybe buy a few cards or just hang out. So uh, regardless, we are going to jump into this. This is a really, really interesting product. So if you don't know what this is, obviously you can buy the regular booster boxes. Uh, those are about $100 uh, as normal and 36 packs of regular boosters with a chance at some premium uh, cards and things like that. However, uh, these packs are a little bit different. So they have a little bit of added value. Uh, and when I say a little bit, I actually mean a lot. Um, <laughs> first of all, the box contains 12 packs, so it's not the full 36. However, in each pack, and I will read, uh, you have four special alternate framed cards, uh, at least two rares or mythics, and then 10 premium foils. So a lot of really, really amazing value to be had here. Uh, obviously, Throne of Eldraine has a lot of really unique cards. Uh, and to actually get collector's versions of all these cards, I think is just truly awesome. So I'm excited about opening these up. Uh, we will go through most of the cards. Uh, we're not going to sit and read every single one, but just so you guys can actually see what all we've got. So Lost Legion here, uh, Weaselback Redcap, Mystic Sanctuary, Memory Theft, Spore Cap Spider, a premium version of Smitten Swordmaster. I love that. Uh, Hypnotic Sprite. Uh, Covetous Urge. Claim the Firstborn. A premium Oakham. Oakham. Oak uh, Ranger. Uh, an Ardenvale Tactician. A Smitten Swordmaster again. Uh, Oko's Accomplices. Acclaimed Contender is a rare here with the full art, which is beautiful. A foil rare Wildborn Preserver, and then a foil token Boar or Food token. So as you can see, just off of the first pack here, there is so much value to be had. Uh, I love in particular these full arts here, uh, the Acclaimed Contender being the first one that we've gotten. I really think they are just tr truly, truly beautiful cards. I think these uh, premium framed cards are the exact same way, just absolutely stunning uh it just adds so much value and so much fun to the pack when you know you're going to be able to open something like this uh it just makes it really really exciting now this card in particular and some of the other ones that we'll see these are actually from the brawl decks uh which is why if you look at the collector's number i know it's probably hard to see here but 315 is the collector's number here uh and that's actually far and above uh what uh you can actually get out of the like what uh 269 in the actual set uh, our, our full art here is Outlaw's Merriment, actually a really interesting card, I think, and then a Foil Sundering Stroke, uh, oops, and then again, Night Token there. Uh, so honestly, I've opened, I want to say, if you pre-ordered uh, the, the regular boxes, you were able to get uh, a couple of packs of these, and so I was actually able to open two packs, one of which uh, we opened in the first video, the first box opening video. Uh, and you saw the value there as well. Just a really, really exciting thing to open. Uh, we had a fun time with that box opening. That was a very good box, I would say. Um, Merfolk Secret Keeper, very cool. Fairy Formation, I love this card. If you have not watched Game Nights, uh, you really should. The latest one with Reed Duke and Melissa, Melissa Del Tora uh, came out, I believe, today, in fact. Uh, I was lucky enough to watch it, and it was honestly just a really, really good episode. And look at this, a foil Garrick Cursed Huntsman fantastic guys i absolutely love these uh hopefully you're able to get your hands on these now they are a little bit more expensive so uh obviously for the booster box it was right around 250 dollars. so i do know that prices some people out of the product uh which is unfortunate and i hate that but uh hopefully you can pick up your singles where you need to uh if you're looking for some of these premium cards uh but if you do get your hands on them they are very very exciting very fun uh, just again, a really, really nice time to be opening. That's every once in a while we get a silly card. Uh, Sundering Stroke is our full art here, and then a foil, uh, folio of fancies, uh, and then a bear token. Uh, so here's my question to all of you. Uh, as we go through these packs, I want to know, uh, 
you guys got to pre-release. Unfortunately, I did not. Uh, very unfortunately, I've been busy. Uh, I do have a conference coming up for work, so I'm going to be out of town next week. And unfortunately, that led to me not really being able uh, to to jump into the pre-release time. But hopefully you guys got to go. Ooh, I love Vantress Gargoyle. That, this gives me hope that there's a mill deck in our future, and I just I love that. Uh, and so hopefully you guys got to pre-release. And if you did, I'd be interested in a couple of things. So first of all, what deck did you end up running? Uh, if you went for specific colors, if you tried out new mechanics, I'd love to know uh, your thoughts on some of this stuff. We talked about a lot of the mechanics and a lot of our favorite cards in the latest podcast episode, which of course I'm going to encourage you to go watch. Uh, however, we did not uh, actually get to pre-release, so I don't know long-term how they're going to play out. Ooh, love that. Again, from the Brawl deck, one of the commanders from the Brawl deck, in fact. Really, really powerful card. Uh, Ayara is our full art here, and then a foil Fey of Wishes with that premium card frame. Just awesome. So we're halfway through here, guys. Um, so yes, I would love to know uh, what you guys thought of pre-release. How, how fun was it? What cards did you love? Uh, if you have particular cards or particular mechanics that you're really, really stoked about or that you found to be really, really powerful, please, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to, um, with Arena uh, gameplay being a little bit of a focus for us. Ooh, another Brawl co uh, Commander, Hero of Asheville. Pretty cool. Uh, ooh, yeah, well, we'll put it down here. Uh, we got two. Look at that. A foil, Happily Ever After, and then Fires of Invention. Very cool. Um, but I really do want to know what specific cards you guys, uh, thought did exceptionally well, or maybe underperformed, uh, if you did have some that you were really, really hyped about, maybe you got to play them and they weren't actually as good as you thought. Uh, I feel like for me, there's a lot of cards that I'm like undervaluing a little bit. Uh, here we go. Look at that. A full art Oko. That's beautiful. Uh, Flax and Intruder. Um, so there are a lot of cards that I'm undervaluing, so I just want to know, uh, what everybody's thoughts are on this. Wow, Castle Artenvale and Clackbridge Troll. Beautiful, beautiful full arts and then a knight token. Uh, because, like, even Oko here, um, a lot of people are saying, you know, everybody's sleeping on Oko and everything like that. And yes, I have seen uh, a few deck lists and he does seem quite good. Uh, definitely better than I initially gave him credit for, but how good is he? I want to know what you guys are, are thinking uh, as you've played through the set, uh, hopefully a little bit. So that's kind of my thoughts. Escape to the Wilds uh, and Robber of the Rich. Beautiful full arts. Uh, so just a thought there. I, I'm really interested because there are a lot of cards in this set that are kind of difficult to evaluate uh, for me. Uh, now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not the expert on everything magic by any means, so it's very easy for me to cop out and say that, but... Uh, genuinely, there are a lot of cards in this set that seem very difficult to, to truly understand if they're great or not. Uh, and so I'm, I'm interested to know. Uh, last two packs here. Getting a lot of really, really good value here, guys. Uh, absolutely love opening these. I'm hoping, if I'm lucky enough, I will get my hands on a little bit more of this. Uh, and maybe we can open up another box if you guys really enjoy it. Uh, just so much. Woo, I love the art on this. Absolutely stunning card. Uh, Curious Pair, Smitten Swordmaster again. Roman Stalwarts, a Charming Prince is our full art, and then a Foiled Giant Killer. Love it. Uh, I did not know that you could get up to like three full arts. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I believe we did in that one pack, so that's awesome. Uh, and last pack here, guys. Let's see what we get. Swordmaster is very prevalent in these packs. That's okay, though. Uh, Flax and Intruder. Mysterious Pathlighter, uh, Garenbrig Carver, Queen of Ice, Lonesome Unicorn, ooh, Corvold, Fey Cursed King, absolutely love this card. Uh, this was what Reed played, the deck that Reed played, no surprise, of course, on that Game Nights episode. Really, really powerful deck, uh, truly powerful. Uh, lots of really, really cool stuff out of that. Ooh, I love this card as well. So Stone Coil Serpent, just because it scales so well, it fits into any deck, absolutely fantastic. And then a Foil Fervent Champion. Guys, you see all of the value we got here. So absolutely tons of beautiful, beautiful full arts. Uh, obviously, technically, I think they're extended arts. They're not full arts, but still really, really nice looking cards. Absolutely love them. Uh, lots of really great value in this rare slot as well. Uh, three, I believe, of the, uh, the Brawl Commanders, which is really cool. Um, and then I believe a Garrick as well. Look at that absolutely stunning and then all of these premium cards some foil cards 
just awesome stuff, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Again, please make sure also to check out Grand Slam. Their link is down below. They did sponsor this video. We could not do it without them. They truly are a huge, huge asset to us uh, and to the Magic community, local community. So please, please check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I will see you in the next box opening video.